when I first came here, I was broke and I didn't have no money, so I had to go to shelters and, and try to get out of day labor, and sometimes you did and sometimes you didn't. So. I used to live down in Lower Wacker for 40 years. Uh, I had some friends down there that helped me uh, get a spot and blankets and all that stuff. Because in this shelter, well, this particular shelter, it's too crowded. You, you can't do nothing. Uh, you touch somebody, they you might get an attitude. I don't like that. And 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 they didn't treat you well either. You know. And you, like I said, you had to eat whatever they served. Like in the morning, there was always oatmeal, but that's it. No sugar, no milk, no nothing. Lunch, it was a bowl of soup, that's it. No seconds. You had to do that. So that's why I got fed up and I got uh, connected with a person and started selling newspapers. Sometimes, maybe that's how I made my money and I could buy my own. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to rely on a shelter. looked out for each other. We had one guy once in a while stay and look after our stuff. Pay a couple of guys to watch our stuff and then you've got your own spot and they have their own spot and they try to keep it as well as they can. And they're always looking out for people trying to steal something from you. So you watch each other's back. They're used to whatever they're used to doing. And they'd rather stay down there because uh, if you go to shelters, you got so many rules. They don't want to go by rules, so they stay down there. Because down there, you can go to sleep when you want to and get up when you want to and do your thing. A lot of them have a little side uh, gig. You know, a lot of guys sell newspapers. A lot of guys uh, pick up, uh, uh, you know, thread and and bottles and stuff like that, and they go sell them to keep a little money in their pocket. Uh, I myself used to sell newspapers to keep money in my pocket. That way I could go to a restaurant or somewhere, I had coffee and stuff like that, because there's a lot of homeless people who don't do nothing, and they can't go to a place and order coffee or whatever, ain't got no money. So they have to go to the shelter and take what they got, you know, where if you have money, you can do whatever you want. It's getting older, and also, to me, it seems like every winter was getting colder, so I decided to ask for help, and I, I got out. Got a permanent job here because my predecessor uh, left, and so I took over his place, and that's where I'm at now since 2005. I've been here on the staff here at the uh, coalition. Trying to uh, get housing for people that are still down there. Well, I know a lot of them are still down there. And we're trying to get the city to uh, owe to their promise. They say they were going to clean up in 10 years homelessness. So far, it hasn't happened man, because they don't want to put no money into it. Man. You can't do nothing without money. So uh, People are still in shelters. People are still down on the street. Uh, we try to uh, tell them that there is hope and that there is help if they want it. That's up to them. We can't make them. But they go up there and tell them about uh, different places they could go for help if they want to get out of the situation they're in. So. Uh, some people live with their families and technically they're homeless because their name are not on the lease. Okay, and then others uh, can't go back to their families because they might have done something. So they stay out on the street. You've got a lot of other guys that don't want to do nothing. Uh, 
that's, that's them. That's why most people think that homeless people don't amount to nothing or don't want to do nothing because they, they don't see them doing anything. Don't believe the perception because not everybody stands on a corner with a telephone cup and pan him. No, there's a lot of homeless people that do something. They get out there, get those little things that they do where they can get money and stuff like that, and not just pan him. And that some portion of homeless people do it, but most of them, they do their little things, sell newspapers, keep money. In some work, some don't. But you can't put everybody that don't work you can't put all the eggs in one one comes say that everybody's like that oh not everybody